Hey everybody, good morning. Taking a look today at uh, Job number 36. It says, Elihu proclaims God's goodness, and then it finishes up with uh, uh, the beginning of Elihu proclaims God's majesty. We're going to talk a little bit about his goodness and, uh, and about, about us and our role in that. And, but I want to take a look at verse 5. It says, Behold, God is mighty, but despises no one. 6. He does not preserve the life of the wicked, but gives justice to the oppressed. He does not withdraw his eyes from the righteous. So he's, he's giving us a very good picture here of God that he doesn't hate anyone. He hates the sin. He hates the wickedness. He hates that type of stuff. And I, I want to go ahead and, and go down just a little bit more. It says, verse 9, he says, Then he tells them their work and their transgressions. 10, he commands them to turn from their iniquity. If they obey and serve him, they shall spend their days in prosperity and their years in pleasures. So, we see iniquity written in there. We see transgression. We also see that, that God is telling us, telling them that if you obey him, you turn from this stuff and you will be given into pleasure. And the, the pleasure that he's talking about is holiness and purity. And, you know, of course, an eternity with him, which is the ultimate goal for us as Christians is, you know, we want to spend eternity with him. But I was looking at transgressions and, and iniquities and what's the difference between the two? You know, really we look at it, but what is the difference between the two? So I did a little bit of research here. Um, Come up with Psalms 32.5. You know, in Psalms 32.5, it actually has transgression, wick, um, iniquity, transgression, and sin um, all in the same, same chapter. So what's the difference? So iniquity is a premeditated choice without repentance, also called wickedness. Transgression is rebellion. It's to choose to disobey. And of course, sin is doing something against God. So both of those are a type of sin. They're a type of sin. That, that Iniquity is a premeditated choice without repentance. Transgression is to, to choose to disobey. So God is saying he wants you to, to turn away from disobeying. And he wants you to... He does not want you to have these premeditated choices in your mind without repentance. You know, the devil will put things in our minds. And we, we need to, as Romans 12, 2 says, we need to be able to bat that off. We need to renew our minds every day by the reading of the word, which is why I start the day with the reading of the word. So that way my mind gets focused in the right direction. And this also gives you an opportunity to meditate on the word throughout the day. And, you know, as opposed to reading the word before you go to bed, um, you, you know, you go to sleep and, and, you know, there's really not much meditating on it. There's really not much opportunity to practice it. But a premeditated choice without repentance, you, you know, when those thoughts come into your mind, you need to be able to bounce them off. You, you need to be able to, to have, a, have a, a, you know, my advice is to have a biblical, your favorite biblical verse as soon as thoughts come into your mind, before they can grow into premeditation of sin, you need to replace them with your favorite Bible verse. You need to replace them with a, a song you know, that glorifies God, you know, a song that you love. Begin singing that when these thoughts come into your mind. And please, choose to obey rather than disobey. I recently had a prophet speak over me and say that, your family is still trying to figure out what happened to you about eight years ago when God got a hold of you. And that's 100% true. They're still trying to figure it out. They don't know what's going on. Still trying to figure out what happened to me. But he told me, he said, God said because of your obedience, he will save them all. He said he will reach them all. And I, it, that just makes me so, so happy and joyful and thankful that he's a good God and it you know it helps me to see that he he that he sees all the choices that I make for him and and you know all the whatever it is you call it sacrifices obedience whatever it is he sees it and he sees all your choices to obey and disobey so guys and girls 
Live the life that God has called you to live. Follow him. When the devil puts ideas and thoughts into your mind, learn to bounce them out. I love you all. Have a super day.